What's up, everybody? So uh, down here doing a little bit of work on the boat. I mentioned in last week's video, talked a little bit about the Whisker Seeker XTN extender uh, landing net. Had a lot of you guys reached out to me with questions. I've seen a lot of questions on social media, so I want to put a real quick video together. So we just released these a couple weeks ago, and uh, they were released for pre-order. They're gonna be shipping out just any day. Actually, by the time you're seeing this, they may already be hitting doorsteps, but they are uh, out there and available for purchase now. And again, it is the Whisker Seeker XTN Extender Landing Net. Comes in three sizes. And this is something that Matt and I at Whisker Seeker, uh, th this has been a, a project on the to-do list for many, many years and we never could find uh, the right configuration. We've been doing lots of building and testing and rebuilding and finally have got all of that done and right. And I've been testing this net for the last, I don't know, year, maybe longer. And uh, I can't tell you how many uh, video clips that I had to scrap because the net showed up in the background or the net was in use and I couldn't show it to the public so i'm super excited that we've got this done and everybody can see it now so i am by myself and i uh, don't have anybody down here to help me right now so i'm going to have to kind of improvise here with showing this off since i don't have somebody to hold the camera for me so let's check it out so every one of the xtn extender landing nets comes with this uh, net cover here. So this just uh, cover just goes over the net like a tennis racket. It zips up here. It's got the Whisker Seeker graphic here on both sides. Has a nice little carrying handle here. Make it nice and easy to carry around. One of the frustrations that I had with landing nets has always been, you know, you throw it in the boat and maybe you're gonna travel down the highway or something and you don't wanna leave it laying in the boat, so you put it in the back of the truck. Um, basically, the process of taking it in and out of the boat, moving it around, putting it in the house or your workshop or whatever else, is the netting will hang up on everything hangs up on fishing rods it wraps around rod holders i mean you name it if you've ever done that you know pretty much anytime you pick a net up and you move it around it wraps up on something you got to get it loose so that's why we built this cover make it nice and compact and easy to store and um, make it much easier to to handle the net moving it around taking it in and out of the boat and all that uh, again, this net comes in three sizes. There's a small, medium, and large. Uh, large is going to be a big, you know, trophy catfish net. If you're an angler that fishes for big fish exclusively or occasionally, that big net is big enough to land any catfish that swims. The medium is going to be kind of a good general purpose. Um, if you catch, you know, fish up to uh, 40 or 50 pounds occasionally, but you know, trophy fishing is not your thing. Um, that medium sized net will kind of do it all. And then the small net is a great, just multi species net. Uh, if you're fishing for smaller uh, blue catfish, channel catfish, white bass, striper, you name it, that small net will be perfect for just any kind of normal sized fish and just average uh, multi species fishing. So each one of these nets comes standard with a rubberized bucket net here. And uh, these are, you know, by far, you know, rubberized nets. Um, hooks don't hang in them, things like that. They don't snag as bad and they're better for the protection of uh, the fish and protecting that slime coating on the catfish. So each net comes standard with that rubberized net got the whisker seeker logo on it there but it also comes with a string net as well so a lot of anglers
and I don't have mine with me. I left it at home. But down inside this net cover, see right here, you have a zippered pocket. It's mesh. And down inside of there, down inside of there is where you will have your string net. So uh, a lot of anglers that fish rivers, fish in heavy current, they want a larger size mesh. You see here, this is kind of a tighter mesh. Um, they want a larger size mesh and a string net for netting fish in that current because it creates less drag. So when you stick the net in the water, the net doesn't create as much drag in the water. It makes it easier to land the fish. So we've included both of those, the rubberized mesh net and the string net. Super easy to swap those out. I'll follow up with a video later on and show you how to do that. But basically, you just pop these two screws out that are right here and remove the head of the net. This slides out and then you just slide your string net over it. So if you fish lakes and rivers, you prefer the rubberized bucket net like most anglers do in most cases, but uh, you're gonna go out and fish some heavy current. You want the benefit of that string net. You've got that option. Plus you've also got a backup net uh, as well. If something happens, you tear it, screw it up, whatever else, you've got a backup net until you can get a replacement on the way. So in addition to all those, if that wasn't enough, uh, you've got this control grip handle on here. This is something that really kind of helps if you're, if you're netting fish, you're getting way out there, away from the boat. Being able to reach up there and hold this handle and stabilize this net with this control grip uh, is really, really helpful. So here's the net, fully collapsed. And then you can extend out here into the first position. I know this is awesome camera work here, but hey, what am I gonna do? I'm by myself. And then once you've extended out into this first position, then you have the option to completely extend this net out like this. So in most cases, you know, you just have the first extension out here. If you're just fishing on the sides of the boat, you know, fishing up on the bow, you don't have anything in the way, you got the fish relatively close to the boat, then you can reach out and grab the fish like that with that first handle length extended out. One of the frustrations that I've had for many, many years is I'm up here on the back of the boat, I'm dragging planer boards. Man, look at all those cobwebs I need to clean in here. You know, I'm fishing off the back of the boat. I'm dragging planer boards. I'm trolling. Um, I've got lines off the back. We hook into a big monster fish, trying to get it in the boat. And I'm battling having my multi-bar rod holders, my talons, my motor, sometimes a drift sock, all of those different things and not having enough reach to really get out there and pick those fish up. So that's where that second extension of that net comes in. Any scenario that you're in where you really need to reach out there, get out over rod racks, over talon anchors, drift socks, motors, anything at all like that, and you can really reach out and grab those fish. Now you've also got multiple positions with this handle, so you don't have to go to that full extension. Once you pull that first extension out, you've got your standard handle length. If you don't need to go all the way and pull that second length of handle and extend all the way out, you've got a, a notch here halfway through, so you can give it just a little bit of length to reach out there and net those fish. Last but not least, again, I'm gonna put a link down below to the Whisker Seeker site so you can get all the specs, the different sizes, the different net sizes, handle extensions, everything else. We've got all that stuff laid out nice and neat and organized there on the Whisker Seeker site. But 
Uh, last thing I want to tell you, this net, uh, the pricing that you see on the website includes everything here. The net, um, the, the landing net overall, the rubberized net, the backup string net or alternate string net, the cover, and the pricing that's on there includes shipping as well. So when you go to the Whisker Seeker site, you see those prices. You're not gonna get hit with a bunch of add-ons to have to buy the cover and the extra net and pay for shipping and everything else. The price that you see on there covers it all. Go down below, check out the link for more information. And uh, if you got any questions, comments, go down below and leave them in the comments.